Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Now, my channel traditionally is not going to be the spot that you get your news flashes for MCOC. And it's the reality of, you know, I've got 2K subs, which is respectable. But in general, people that are coming to my channel, it's for a little bit more niche type things. Like I do champion reviews, I do Alliance War videos. Occasionally I'll do roster updates that interest people and things like that. But you know, I don't get the amount of views that if I'm doing editorials and news updates and things like that, I'm gonna be getting the bulk of the MCOC community. There's certainly some other channels that are more dedicated to that, which I think can do a better job. However, there was a very interesting thread on the forums that a few of my friends were involved with, and I'm going to do what I can to at least just bring some attention to it and give you my opinion on it. Now, right now in the state of the game, I think the thing on the forefront of most of our minds is that the input issues have not been resolved. Um, there's sort of a general consensus, and it's really tough to get solid data on how true any of this is, but there's enough anecdotal evidence to suggest that the input issues were somewhat fixed when the input refactor first came out. It was released to a bunch of CCP members at first, including myself, and I myself and some other ones in the CCP really did feel like it improved some of the ongoing issues when it first came out, or at the very least, if they weren't having any issues to speak of, when it came out, it was, you know, status quo. It didn't make it any worse, and then for some people it made it better. But then, you know, something happened when it was released to the main community, and now it seems worse than ever. Now, maybe more fixes are coming in the future. We don't know, but as of now, compensation has completely stopped and the game is just not feeling great for a lot of summoners. For myself, it hasn't been as dire as some of the stories I'm hearing, but you know, at the same time, I've had a slew of, of issues over this entire period. So I think at the very least, what I can say is that it, everyone's story is a little different. Uh, depending on your device, on your connection, on, you know, whatever, your phone update. There's there's just so many factors. And the general consensus is just that it is not very stable right now. And the majority of players are feeling some kind of issues. Now, while all this is being discussed and is probably on the forefront of most of our minds, a very interesting thread appeared on the forums that was started by Bitter Steel who he's someone that I am not uh, very close with, but I have interacted with him a few times. Like I remember back when the Grandmaster's Gauntlet came out, he and I were in a similar chat and I picked his brain a little bit about the team he used. And you know, my, my assessment of this guy is that he's a very smart player. He's respected in the community. And as he states at the beginning of the post, he's not usually the type of person who is just going to blindly attack Kabam and bring things up just to stir things up. Uh, and as far as I know him, that is, that is a true statement. Um, but his concern here is that the AI seems to have changed semi-recently and that it's something that Kabam has not addressed. And he alludes back to a post by Dr. Zola and funny story, Dr. Zola was the first alliance officer who recruited me in a semi-serious alliance. The first time I ever did map five, when I had no rank five four-star champions, I had like this minuscule account and he took a chance on me and the rest is history. That was sort of my first ticket into some kind of competitive game modes. And uh, you know, you know where I am today now and uh, how important that first step was. So big shout out to Dr. Zola. I have mad respect for this guy. He still plays the game. He's been playing it since game, since day one. He's a very skilled player. And even though he is semi-retired, he's a very important part of the community on the forums and um, has a voice that I think you should listen to. So I'll just start off by saying that. But he had this interesting um, post, I guess it was six months ago, back in November, specifically about how taunts was not seeming to increase the um, you know propensity for them to throw specials and additionally just the AI in general being more passive 
And I think this is something many people that have done map eight noticed as soon as map eight was released, there was just this crazy passive AI. And it, it's to the point where I do think that this is an objective observation. This is not something that's like, oh, the nodes are different and it feels more passive. It's like, well, no, these guys are holding block. They're dashing back. They're not throwing specials. They're throwing lights all over the place. And there was no real explanation for why. And Kabam has said before that there are certain AI profiles, but that generally speaking, the ones that are used in the hardest content tend to be the same one that is implemented. And there you go. But we all know sort of anecdotally, Labyrinth and Abyss are slightly different than Act 7, or slightly different than AQ, or slightly different than Alliance War. At least in my experience, that's how it seems. But let's get on to what Bittersteel is saying here. Um, he uh, then commented saying, over the last few weeks, I've noticed a dramatic decrease in defenders throwing specials. That's kind of one of the cruxes of this argument. And I haven't posted about it because I wanted to be sure. And that even in November of 2021, this was not a new issue. Um, so then this thread got moved to bugs and known issues, which means that at the very least, Kabam saw it and they wanted to make it a known issue, which is some acknowledgement that something is going on. And then even at the start of this thread, people were saying the silence is frustrating. Um, so essentially, what, what ended up happening is that this just was never talked about. And I just to give you know a little bit of credit to Kabam, I can understand why it's not talked about because I do believe them when they say, you know, nothing intentionally was put into the game that changed the AI. And I do believe that. I think it would be like a huge uh, cobweb mess to manipulate the AI to do something that's like anti-player. Um, but the fact is that something changed, and I, like I said, I think that's an objective thing. And then Bittersteel goes on to make the point that Eternity of Pain has been going on, and one of the biggest challenges has been the AI. And now I do agree with this. All three of the fights are basically like, don't make a lot of contact with the opponent, bait a million special ones. It's very difficult to find windows to do damage. It's very easy to get backed up. And when you have an AI that refuses to throw specials and doesn't allow you to intercept safely and things like that, you know, all three of the fights so far, um, you know, Crossbones probably the least, but definitely Icarus and this, this new blade that came out are gonna be very, very frustrating. And then you throw on the input issues on top of it. It's like you thought you dexed, but you get clipped by blade special one. You know, there's lots of lots of frustration upon frustration that is a combination of the AI, the input issues, and just the node design and how all three of those things work together. So then he goes on to list some different ways that the AI has been behaving, which I think I can attest to a lot of these. I don't agree with all of them, um, and I'll get to that in a second. But first of all, AI walking forward and throwing a light out of nowhere. Yeah, this is like they've got the fastest quick draw in the West sometimes. And it's like you cannot avoid it. They're just like right there and then boop, they throw the light. Uh, throwing lights out of nowhere. Again, that one's kind of the same. Um, being so against throwing specials, spending up to a minute baiting specials in a time sensitive content is demoralizing. Uh, yeah, you know, like if there's plagued mind or if there's some reason that you need to bait the special and they're not throwing it. Um, we know that there are nodes like aggressive and oscillate that will make it more likely for them to throw it, but it just seems like after a while there should be a way for you to manipulate the AI. Uh, stuttering so that you dash back ready to evade Dex or Parry or whatever, but they, they stutter and then they initiate the dash and catch you. Now that one I think is fair um, because you know we don't want the AI to be so predictable that they can't trip you up like that. 
But anyway, I'm, I'm not gonna read all these, but like quicker recovery from heavy attacks, dashing back and holding heavy sometimes doesn't work. That seems like more of an input issue to me. Sidestepping, yes, that's definitely happened to me, but again, I think that's somewhat fair. And he goes on and on and on. This last one, AI throws specials at a different point now. Um, without reading this, I have noticed that the AI will throw while holding block. This actually killed me in war when Bishop threw a special one against Apocalypse. I got all these incinerates on me and detonated from purifying them when I went immune. There used to sort of be a golden rule that they wouldn't throw it into block and now it seems like they are very happy to just throw it ever since map 8 happened. So, you know, he, he goes on to say that like, the issue isn't necessarily that the AI has changed, it's just that nobody has acknowledged it. And I want to just take a brief moment, give you my opinion. So the first thing I would say is that I do think the AI has changed and I am frustrated by it. But it has less to do with the fact that it's changed and it has more to do with the combinations of the nodes that are being designed, specifically with Eternity of Pain, just because it's fresh on my mind, and the way that this AI is behaving. Now listen, this game is, let's just do a little aside here. This is This game is not like Tekken or Mortal Kombat, where it's like you have two opponents that have roughly the same amount of health and they have different combos of buttons that you push to do different moves. And it's like whoever ends up with without dying at the end wins. You know, it's like that's not what this game is because you're not fighting against other humans. You're not fighting in like a 3D arena. It's literally you're going up against a boss basically every fight, unless if you're doing the easiest content. And by that, I mean the opponents always have more health than you by a lot. The opponents always, or at least usually have more attack than you by a lot. Even in war, you know, they've got like four times as much health as you sometimes. And so it's like, you make three mistakes, you're dead. The opponent doesn't make mistakes. The opponent does a, a, like a script of moves and then you find your openings and you have to hit them sometimes like 120 times for them to go down. So like, this is not your normal brawling Street Fighter game. This game is a lot more about understanding the interactions between champions' abilities, reading the nodes, you know, knowing how to counter these abilities, and how to basically go into a fight with a certain strategy that if you don't make mistakes, you should be able to get the opponent down. And now I don't want an AI that is so predictable that I go into a fight and if I just perform this series of inputs in this exact order with this exact timing, I win the fight, right? We want it to feel dynamic. We want to feel like we're fighting against an opponent, against somebody who can make decisions. Um, but at the same time, there should be certain cues in the AI that allow you to do a certain strategy to, to get them to react the way that you want them to. And then you throw on top of that nodes like, you know, the one that this blade has where you are losing your specials all the time he's always at a special one he's basically got power efficiency so he can just keep throwing the special ones he's holding block he's dashing at you he's throwing lights he's not throwing his specials it's very very easy to get backed up it's very easy to get clipped by the special one and just get extremely frustrated and feel like there's no way out of it and like I said, we know that there are ways for them to manipulate the AI with nodes like aggressive or something like that so that they're going to more reliably throw the special. And I think if they applied that to some situations like this or they tweaked the nodes a little bit, it would be a much more enjoyable experience. Now, let's take a look at the way Kabam responded to this. Uh, we're going to go on to the last page because it did get the attention of Kabam Mike, which is nice to see. And I am glad that at least they addressed the concern of the lack of communication. So Kabam Mike goes on to say, sorry for the late response. This is a difficult topic to tackle. You know, I want to dispel any rumors and misunderstandings. And, you know, I can understand that. I don't think there's some crazy conspiracy going on here that they added this crazy AI 
to make them, you know, earn more money through items or things like that. I do kind of think it's a little bit of a knock on effect. But here he goes, cutting to the chase, there have already been, um, there have been no intentional changes to AI in this very thread. Coat Hanger mentions perceived changes to AI that happened to compensate for issues with AI performance earlier. The thing is, there were never any changes made to begin with. The AI was not changed to compensate for issues earlier, and there is nothing to change back to. Could there be differences to how the AI is acting or reacting? Absolutely, but those should be treated as bugs and not intentional changes. So he does admit that there could be AI bugs, that the game is very complicated and we're not sure exactly what would cause it, but it wasn't intentional. All right. Secondly, we see the complaint that certain fights have different AI than others. For example, the Crossbones and Blade and Eternity of Pain. These both share an AI profile that most of the hardest fights in the game, including AW and things like Labyrinth and Abyss. And it's not possible for one to be different without the rest of them being different as well. This complaint often comes up in high pressure fights. There does seem to be an issue where Blade is able to re-parry and cause a bleed but that doesn't have to do with the AI itself. That is likely a system of the input system change and should be reported as such. So here he's saying that all of these modes share the same AI, which from my experience doesn't seem completely accurate, but who knows, maybe the health pool, maybe the nodes themselves, maybe the champions themselves have various things coded into them that it all kind of like mixes into some crazy cocktail of how they're going to behave. And I do understand what he's saying that like the most high pressure fights are the ones where you're gonna feel it the worst. So, you know, if there's some kind of unblockable, if there's some kind of, you know, needing to bait a million specials and power gain, if you are not using your own specials, if you can't parry, it's probably gonna feel worse even though it might be the same. So this is something I actually kind of agree with. Um, interesting about the repairing people were just like spamming hitting block against blade and then getting the bleeds on them because his he was repairing that's not fun i've seen that happen against ai where they have the parry mastery active like for example using tigra against apocalypse if you are just hitting his block and you do a double medium he can actually repair you and you can get stunned which is just a boatload of fun so yeah this is something that i would love to see changed i do think it's a bug they should not be able to repair you and then finally as for the issues that were listed earlier we've made sure to share the list with the team however it's very unlikely at least he's being honest that any of them have to do with the ai itself and are knock-ons from the other issues now this is something i can believe because the input issues have been going on for almost an entire year now so yeah other things happening affecting this could totally be Changing the AI is a massive undertaking and takes a very long time to do. If you discover issues like this, it's important to report them with the proper reporting format in the forums, which who knows if they read that, but whatever, or through our support team. When everything is labeled AI changed, we're not likely to find it or be able to address them. So fair point, Mike, fair point. Uh, we wanna hear about these things and to be able to address them, but need to make sure that we're actually hearing about them. So reporting them through the proper channels is very helpful. I hope this sheds some light on the subject, blah, blah, blah. So first of all, they addressed it. It means they're reading it. It means they know it's an issue. They specifically mentioned that the repairing thing from Blade is an issue and that needs to get changed. In terms of the AI in general, it's, it's very difficult to process this because anyone who plays the game competitively, who has been playing for a while, you perceive these differences when they're happening. And when you're getting stuck in the corner, when you can't bait their specials, no matter how many tricks you try, it feels like you're going up against an unfair opponent. Now, not every fight in the game needs to be soloable by the average player. I am a firm believer that using items is not the end of the world. Like there are times, if you're doing dimensional being against Blade, I'm expecting you to use a couple revives on that because that is a very difficult fight, even if the AI was cooperating. 
and you shouldn't feel ashamed about that. But there are some situations in the game like AQ and certain Alliance War fights where you go in with the perfect strategy and perfect champ and the combinations of the input issues and the AI causes you to die that it can be extremely frustrating because you have to use items and you are letting your friends down in the case of Alliance War. And similarly with Battlegrounds, we only have so much time a day to get these milestones done and it is a competitive game mode. It's something where you wanna win, you wanna raise your rating. And when things like this are messing with you, it's very frustrating. So I just wanted to take a moment to shed some light on this thread. I think Bitter Steel brought up some really good points. I do think it is nice to see that Kabam responded even though there is not necessarily a solution in place. And what I would suggest is instead of like going into the, you know, the deep uh, servers of this game and trying to manipulate the AI, let's just assume that this is the AI, but let's work on our node design so that we're not getting this blade who benefits from this crazy AI. And then for the players themselves, like, like I said, I do like a dynamic game. You know, if you're going to get sidestepped, if you're going to get light intercepted, that's another thing to learn because the AI will give you tells when they're doing something like that. Um, Bittersteel brought up, for example, like Hercules with the Infuriate. Sometimes if you try to intercept, they're just going to throw a light and you get hit. I think that's fair game because, you know, you shouldn't be able to just do the same input trick and then like always connect your hits. Like there needs to be a little bit of risk and you need to know exactly when it's safe, like what the tells are on the AI so that you're not just sort of like going YOLO style and getting clipped when intercepting is needed in the fight. Like you need to work on your own light intercepts and things like that. So, you know, I do think there's some give and take on this issue. Um, but the reality is the AI has changed and we don't know why. We don't know if it's a knock on effect. I'm glad that Kabam has at least begun to address it. Um, but again, Kabam, let's see nodes that are designed that don't punish you if the AI is going to do this. Or let's just go ahead and put that aggressive node or things like, you know, the Fury from Oscillate. We know that you know how to make them throw specials. Let's do that so that we can get a little bit more engagement with the opponents if needed. If the fight calls for it, that is going to really help us in the future. So anyway different style video for me um definitely check out the thread definitely check out some of the earlier things that dr zola posted because i think they're very valid and he always has a good opinion and that's going to do it for today thanks for checking it out and i'll catch you in the next one